Good evening, and welcome to the Neighborhood Center. My name is Vicki Anderson. I'm Executive Director of the Pawkatuck Neighborhood Center, and my co-host this evening is Maura Bonafidi, Hi. who is the Social Services uh, Representative in our Social Services Department. Um, so uh, we would like to just say welcome to October. It's October 1st. And looking back just a week, um, we'd like to just kind of give a shout out in a way to the Haversham House, yes. who um, did a spectacular job for our 29th annual meeting. It was very successful. The food was excellent. And right now in Westerly, it's restaurant week. And the Haversham is one of those restaurants yes. that is on the list. And so if any of you are looking for a place to go out to dinner and have a great time, highly recommend Definitely. that. Definitely. I've been there before. It's excellent. Mm -hmm. And so this evening, Moore and I would like to talk to all of you about, um, these are things that we're actively involved mm -hmm. in in human services, is our heating assistance program that we have at the Neighborhood Center and other not-for-profits um, who are outside of our, our own service area also do some of these mm -hmm. things. But to let those who are in our service area of Stonington, which includes Pawkatuck Mystic, Old Mystic, North Stonington, and Westerly, Rhode Island, uh, learn about our heating assistance program, it's going to get a lot colder than it is mm -hmm. today. It's raining right. today, and with the rain, it's, it, it kind of chills you a bit to the bone. But it's going to get, it's going to get cold, and we want people to be prepared. And we're going to touch on a number of other things that will help stabilize your family, we hope. And that's what we're here for, is to be of service to you. So we'll start with our heating assistance mm -hmm. program and the number of ways that we do this. Okay, currently we're doing operation fuel, which is assistance with the utilities, whether it's your uh, electric or your propane, those type of things. And that program is gonna end this coming um, Tuesday. Tuesday. But starting December 1st, Operation Fuel will start up again, mm -hmm. and it will run through, I believe, the end of May. And at that point, they can apply for um, assistance for oil, propane, mm -hmm. the utilities, if they've got a shut off, mm -hmm. uh, pellets or wood, those type of things. But they also need to have already really applied for energy assistance with TVCCA. And once they which is deliverable fuel or utility heating. Mm -hmm. And once they've exhausted that uh, part of the program, then they could reapply for something to do with Operation Fuel. We can't emphasize that really enough, mm -hmm. that this, that through Thames Valley Council mm -hmm. for Community Action um, has a fuel assistance program, and you need to bring certain documents, yep. and when you call the Neighborhood Center, we're happy to tell you over the phone or mail it to you what is needed, and it's a, you bring in all your documentation yes. in, and you would meet with Maura or Abby, also in the, mm -hmm. the Human Services Department, and um, you, you get a, a head start, really, on protecting yourself so that you know that you have a steady flow of fuel in whatever manner you do it so that your family, yourself and your family aren't find yourselves cold during the yes. winter. And normally you're at least going to get that 100 gallons, but quite frequently you're going to get additional if you're depending on your family yep. size, your income, and there are also crisis type um, utility pot that can play into it too. Mm -hmm. And so the, there's quite a bit there. You'll get a letter saying you've been authorized for so much, mm -hmm. but they tell you to keep calling till they tell you you don't have any more benefit left. And you don't call until you've got a quarter of a tank, and you should watch it and don't run out, oh. because mm -hmm. then you're going to have to pay for a restart, which can be around $75, I believe, those type of things. Mm -hmm. So That's it's expensive. important that you wow. really, you know, watch where your tank's at. You know, and we've already started taking the energy assistance for TVCCA. And they'll start their first delivery will be November 15th, I think. You do have to call them and tell them I'm down to a quarter of a tank or whatever. You know, and then they will set up a delivery. Obviously, if you call Friday afternoon, yeah. <laughs> chances are you're not going to get that delivery until Monday. There are certain keys like that, that <coughs> very good point of making these programs yep. work for you. Friday or Friday afternoon isn't a good time mm -mm. for anything. Everybody has um, a schedule of their employees the oil companies yep. themselves, when they send their trucks out, their delivery trucks out, most of them stop at 3 p.m. Yep. 
In an afternoon. So that's that's it. So calling in the afternoon isn't going to help you for over the weekend. So you've got to be thinking of it right now, yep. planning ahead. But the, the family doesn't call us for a delivery. Nope. They call they TVCCA. Call, okay. <clears throat> and the number there is 860-425-6571. I think you have to give your, you know, your name, obviously, and the location you're at. They may even ask where your fill tank is, and they will get back to you. You don't call the oil company directly, even oh. though you know <laughs> I've picked such and such an oil company. Do not pick up the phone and call them. TVCCA has to authorize it because that's who's going to be paying the oil company. So it's important to, you know, and watch it. Don't keep your heat way up if you right. don't need it, you know, and those type of things. We're also into the um, starting 11-1 will be winter protection program starts, mm -hmm. and that runs through May 1st. And that's protection so that your energy, your electric, or your propane won't be shut off during those winter months. But that doesn't mean, oh, I don't have to pay anything for the next four or five months okay. because you're still going to owe the money that you're using, the fuel you're using, come May 1st. Mm -hmm. And if you walk into our office and you've got a bill of two or 3000 you know, we don't have the funds to pay that or sometimes not even what they're looking for a minimum. Right. So you need to continue sending something every single month, yeah. even if it's $50, something because there's other energy programs like Operation Fuel that sometimes I can get help with your electric bill come you know, next April or May, but if you haven't made any payments, then I can't get it for you. So you need to make a minimum of four relatively good sized payments to get additional funds. Uh, but they have to be four payments in a row. In tw well, within a 12 month period. Within a 12 month, four payments Which in a row. Which isn't asking a lot. <laughs> and we can't emphasize mm -mm. this enough and I think we're going to put up signage yeah. large signage around our building and be mentioning it yeah. to people who come in all the time because we don't want you to be without fuel right. we don't want you to be feeling like you're up a creek without any help but we want you to understand that you have got to send in something mm -hmm. nobody is getting um, help for free. I know. Nobody is getting help for free. None of us are. So these are the tips that we want to give you um, so that you can help yourself. And when you come in and you've got those four payments that you've made, then um, Maura or Abby are able to go on to the next program that may be able to help you with something. Otherwise, we have to tell you, no, we, yeah. and our hands are tied. There's nothing we can do nothing we can do and it's it's just the way the, the there's a, a, just a finite amount of money that's being spread over a large state and this is just the way it is I know. that's why it's so important we discuss with our clients frequently you know about budgeting yeah even though during the summer you're not maybe you don't have the high electric bill you might because of air conditioning mm -hmm. but you need to budget certain money every month to pay these other bills mm -hmm. And when you don't do it, then you got a big bill and not, a, you know, who's going to help you? Right. Because, you know, everything's tight, even for our donors. Maybe they can't give. They gave $100 last year towards a program. Maybe this year they only can give 75 which is right. a lot of money for us to receive, and we're thankful mm -hmm. for it. But everybody is, you know, feeling the pressure of electricity going up yes, and right. the different things that do happen. Mm -hmm. So it's important that, you know, you get a buy-in. You know, like if I'm going to be able to help somebody, I'll say, well, how much can you pay towards this? Mm -hmm. And even if it's $20, that means, you know, they're taking, they're really participating in their own usage. And, and they should feel better about doing that. Every one of us has to do it. I know when the, the bills come in at our house, and we put them in a certain place. You do have to set time aside and open those bills and yes. to see what they are. Yes, you know, it's not that money coming in, it's something that mm -hmm. you owe and you want to put it off looking at it. Please don't, please open them right away. And then we're able, you, you can come in and maybe it's not due right then, but you can come in and ask for some guidance. And this gets down mm -hmm. to the, the budget, um, budgeting. Mm -hmm. it, Maybe you're in your first apartment. Maybe you've moved from a home to an apartment or, or something. But if you need some, some guidance on this, Moore and Abby are able to do this. And otherwise, um, 
you're, you're going to be in, in tough straits and there's not going to be any agency mm -hmm. that's going to be able to provide the help that you need. Exactly. You know, that's why it's really important to do that. Um, and one of the things with TVCCA, you may get a letter back from them and you don't even open it. Right. So maybe it's saying you're going to get 100 gallons, you know, deliverable fuel, but maybe it's also saying you've been denied because you didn't give me a right document. If you don't open it, then you call me in January and say, I keep calling and they said I'm not approved. You know, if you come in, I'll find out what you need and then we can fax it directly over to them. So it's important you open every envelope comes into the house mm -hmm. because with TVCCA, you want to say, how much am I been approved for? Yeah. Was I denied because I didn't give a certain document? So those are really important things to make sure you can pick up the phone and say, I'm out of fuel, I'm down to a quarter of a tank, you know, and expect that delivery. Mm -hmm. that's, a very, that's an excellent point because you can get a letter from TVCCA and it's good news or it's not good yeah. news. Good news is you know you're getting, 100, well, say 100, I don't know. At least 100. At normal. least 100 gallons and a delivery starts November 15. The trucks start rolling out and you might not be the first on the no. list. but. <laughs> If it's bad news that you've been denied, but you've been denied for a reason, then you can call the Pocket Tuck Neighborhood Center or even talk to Mara over the phone and say, this is the reason I was denied or I'm afraid to open it, then come in and we'll, you know, we'll help you open it if you've got, you just can't bring yourself yeah. to open it and we can help you. Yeah, figure out why and then get, that, get that document over to them so that then you can get certified. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's really important because we're approaching the cool weather. We've been fortunate this year that's because, right. I mean, I was at the beach last Saturday, you know, for four hours getting You were at the in. beach. I can't, uh, you, know, you know. And that doesn't happen this time of year. Day. Exactly. Right. So we're moving right into the area of, you know, energy assistance, all those things. Um, a lot of you get food stamps. Maybe you, you get a letter that you need to be reapproved, and right. you need to bring certain documents. Well, we do have a person from SNAP coming to our office that should be here actually this Friday, October 3rd, from I think 9 to noon in okay. the downstairs mm -hmm. area. And she'll be returning again October 24th. Fantastic. And she's able to help an awful lot of people to either sign up for the first time or to get recertified. And again, open that piece of mail because mm -hmm. if it's time to recertify, you leave it on your counter. All of a sudden you go with your, you don't have any anything on your card for SNAP. Right. It's because you didn't recertify it. So it's very important. And it, and it may be that you thought you did all the paper, you sent right. it in yourself. Um, I just like to thank United Community Family Services yep, for coming, for, for coming yep. to the neighborhood center and coming twice a month. And Lilith is wonderful. Yes. And <laughs> she's she's great to work with and she helps us when we have a question. Yep. Maybe the program has changed a little bit and we don't know the answer. She's there twice a month for mm -hmm. uh, uh, four hours. Yeah, exactly. For four hours. And it's I think it's walk-in only, is it yes. not? Yes. So just come on over with your with your food stamp letter or maybe you think I should actually be getting a little bit more money I don't understand why it's been cut back and she can find that answer yeah because the you. income guidelines have changed just recently and I think uh, they're going to change okay. again all right so that's something that's if you call our office we have a list we can tell you where you fall and it does go by I believe your gross pay okay and we do have the applications to fill out if you need that to so you're all ready when you go to visit her right we also have been very fortunate to have the Department of Social Services bus twice at our facility to help people, just like instead of calling the phone and no yep. answer, right? you've got a live person. Right. And I'm hoping the, sometime the end of I November we may get fantastic. them to come again. I have to call and set that up. Well, is that October that uh, the, the Department of Connecticut Social Service bus has been to the Pocketuck Neighborhood Center twice and from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. and and people can make <coughs> appointments or it's walk-in mm -hmm. and they do a great job. They It, it is a mobile human services department mm -hmm. of, the, of the state of Connecticut and they park this enormous vehicle, <laughs> very modern, I mean totally modern yep. inside. Satellite and, everything. Satellite everything and it's, it's it couldn't be a better resource mm -hmm. and that is coming this month more in October? No, nope, November. November, okay. I got to get a date. I'm okay, hoping we'll they can. I can't guarantee you. it, but I'm pretty sure I okay. can get them. And, and they can answer questions whether it's on cash assistance, it's the food stamps, SNAP program, 
or if it's mm -hmm. uh, your Medicare insurance, any of those mm -hmm. type of things. Mm -hmm. And it's also, it is coming up time for renewal for Medicare for your insurance yeah. if you're doing Advantage plans and those type of things. And Norwich um, Senior Services is offering a program for to doing that. Yeah. Um, so if you've got any questions about where to go, if you need to do it, just give our office a call and we will direct you to the closest facility. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of the programs have changed this year. Yeah. They've either gone from you were paying zero to now you're gonna pay so much. Gonna, mm -hmm. So you may wanna look over carefully what you have and if you need to make changes. Mm -hmm. Make sure your doctors are covered because maybe some of them aren't. Yeah. So you have to review it each and every year. Mm -hmm. and, and that is a you know great thing to be doing. Um, well, weekend backpack, it's September. School has already been in session for a month almost. Yes, it has. And we do the weekend to backpack program for Stonington, North Stonington, and we also now do the town of Westerly, Westerly. which is very exciting to be able to serve the school children there with, you know, uh, food for the weekend. So mm -hmm. if your children are on the free and reduced lunch program at school, mm -hmm. just need to bring in that letter to us and you'll get a card. And every Friday you'll come between 8.30 and before 4 p.m. and you'll get milk and bread and cereal and uh, lunch items for your children for the whole weekend. Yeah. Uh, fresh fruit, we have one client that donates fresh yes. fruit. Yes, she does. And we have another client that brings in the uh, maybe SpaghettiOs or things like that. Yeah. And we yeah. get snacks, healthy snacks. We don't give out sugary things any longer. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying to get away from that. Yes. So it's a great program and it's... Um, it Many, yeah. many families. I forgot how many families we've got right now in it, but and it's, it's in the hundreds. It, it, it's over, yeah, hundreds of children. I'd just like to say to the, we began, was it in April? Mm -hmm. I think that yep. we added, added Westerly. Westerly. I mean, Westerly has always been our service area yeah. for 29 years. But we started out slow with the Weekender mm -hmm. Backpack. We started in North Stonington. Now, in Stonington, we've now done for a number of years. We've just added Westerly and that's growing a lot and i would just like to say to the westerly businesses mm -hmm. and to any grocery store in westerly the pocket tech neighborhood center would very much like to do have a food collection basket or bin in your grocery store or in your store um, in westerly because we are serving hundreds yes. of westerly children uh, children who are residents of Westerly who are in the school program and we're going to be meeting with the uh, gentleman who's head of nutrition services uh, um, our board president Reverend Joshua McClure and I are going to be meeting okay. with this gentleman pretty soon in the next week or so and together together you know two communities mm -hmm. and um, can see what we do can do to provide more food for the children over the weekend mm -hmm. because it's not available and we do it throughout the year we do it 50, well, 50 weeks out of the year. I think there's only two, two Fridays that we don't do it. And it means everything um, to families and to children mm -hmm. who otherwise would grow up food insecure. Yeah. You know, is there a candy bar? Is there nothing? What am I going to have for breakfast or lunch? And um, it, it, but anyway, uh, uh, I'm reaching out to Westerly. Mm -hmm. I really need your support. Yeah. Really, truly need your support. Definitely, because it, it's growing in there. Yeah. Direct thousands of kids that go to school in Westerly and yes. we're going to be picking up I think a very large number mm -hmm. of them and it's so far it's been the parents are like totally excited about yeah. it and I'll show them a sample menu of what we might give them for that week and mm -hmm. and they really can't believe it so yeah. it's um it, it gives them food throughout the weekend for that child yeah it, it's an absolute it, this program is absolutely necessary mm. absolutely a necessary thing and it's incumbent upon us as an agency to find ways to get enough food yep in our doors to give out. So exactly. something might come in Monday morning, it's going out Friday morning for these children. And we don't want children in our service area mm -mm. growing up food insecure. No. And so if anybody wants to donate yes. something to it, please feel free to stop by and we'll give you a donor you know, letter that yes. you can use it for tax purposes, whatever it is that you'd like to do. So we do all kinds of, you know, anything that's nutritious, whether it's the string cheese yep. and the yogurt they love, whenever I get that. Uh, you name it, anything that's nutritious for young people and is easy to, you know, fix or whatever is mm -hmm. what we're really looking for. If you'd like to follow in the footsteps of Bruce and Fran Prescott, who own Zoe and Company, they um, are a business who every single month bring over mm -hmm. an item that we need and they bring 
as, as much as they can yeah. of a certain item. They, they choose a different item. They ask what we need, mm -hmm. and then they say, is this okay to bring over and, and buy? And they have been, from the get-go, when we first started this, mm -hmm. they really adopted this program, and they've continued to give every single week. So um, any businesses out there who would like to make this part of their whole culture of their of what they're doing if they if you can't bring it over every you know every week mm -hmm. you can bring it over every month every couple of months and designate it for the weekend or backpack food program for children in, in westerly we need it yeah cereal is always a big item cereal that we definitely need yep and we have another client that she brings fresh fruit right from you know one of the local yes. grocery stores every week it's delivered and it's and grapes, I think, was last week. Yeah. It can be apples, oranges, and they're right off the shelf on the store. Yes, they're they are. very fresh, and the kids look forward to walking in with their mother or the mom mm -hmm. comes home with the fresh fruits for the child, and yep. it just makes the whole family happy for the mm -hmm. weekend. They do. They have. They know. They know they have food. Yep. They know they're going to have milk, and they know they have bread and peanut butter and jelly and uh, yep. so other food items. They go off to school on Monday morning. Right. They haven't spent the weekend being hungry and looking mm -hmm. forward to their free lunch at school or something. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it makes a big difference in them it studying does. and all the other things that young kids need mm -hmm. to be doing or just playing and have yeah. the energy to do it. Yep. So we, we're going... I guess um, we have the Job Search Club, which meets every Monday, 9.30 mm -hmm. to 10.30. That's open to anybody. You don't have to live within our three towns nope. that we service. Anybody without it's a job. Help with resume, oh. yep. help with jobs, uh, review your resume, make suggestions. People that come continually do find employment. Mm -hmm. So if you're really looking for employment, come and continue coming. We have a computer lab that was set up recently mm -hmm. by a grant that we got where you have two computers where they can go out and search for jobs, they can do their resume, mm -hmm. um, you name it, whatever they need to do that's related to searching for a job, it's available. And it's in a nice, quiet, separate place that they can, you know, not be distracted by, you know, yeah. crowds of people coming in. So. And, and I, I said if you're without a job, but it's also if you have a job yeah. and you'd like a different job or or you're underemployed. You're underemployed. Yeah. You're not making enough money at this job, so you want to find another job that pays a little more, mm -hmm. or you'd like another part-time job. You want two part-time jobs. This is what it's there for, right? And it's it's open five days a week. Mm. And now we're ready to move into the most exciting, busiest <laughs> time of the year at yes, the Barkatuck Neighborhood Center. It's Thanksgiving yes. for its time starting Monday. You can sign up for your turkey dinner and all mm -hmm. the fixings that go with it, and also sign up at that time for Christmas because we like to get them both at the same time. Right. So we know because we'll be looking for lots of turkeys. Yes. And the kids can you can sign up the children for um, you know gifts for the children. So we're having the an Christmas Angel program for children mm -hmm. this year, where the, each child can choose three gifts. Yes. And you know something that's not too expensive because then we're looking for people that are yeah. willing to adopt a child and mm -hmm. purchase those gifts for Christmas. Right. So we're always looking for that. So you need to call and um, speak to Donna because she's handling that part. So it's getting starting Monday will be a very busy time. You do need mm -hmm. to be a client, so yes. you, you do need to register if you haven't renewed. And um, it's an exciting time and very festive. It <laughs> is. It is. We get volunteers from the community that just, uh, I, I don't know. They, they, they've been volunteering yeah. for many years, and they're very dedicated yeah. to, the, I mean, it, it's fun, and, and it's necessary, and the community just rises to the occasion yeah. every single time. Um, you talk about being food insecure. I know that we get turkey feeling turkey insecure. Mm. Believe me, even though every single year, so f knock on wood, <laughs> um, it it has worked out. Yep. But we always get concerned because the, we are seeing well, an increase in the number families. of families yeah. that that Mora enrolls as as PNC client families. More people will need more turkeys. Do we have enough space? Will we have enough food for the holidays? We worry about that. Exactly. And um, so if you would like to donate turkeys to the Neighborhood Center for Thanksgiving and Christmas, we need them. <laughs> yeah. And we need other, you know, things that go with making up the whole meal, whether it's the instant potatoes or the yep. whole potatoes or the canned peas, corn and gravy, mm -hmm. especially gravy is always a little 
yep. and cranberry sauce. Yes. And some people want rice, those type mm -hmm. of things. So we're in, always looking for that at this time to make donations. And you know, no donation is too small. Whatever you can Absolutely do is what not. we can need. Like right now, we have an immediate need in our regular pantry for soup. We're very low for the first time since I've been there yes. on soup. Yes. And it's winter. We're also low on cereal, canned fruit. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we've never been low on is spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. That's true. So if you have any of those items you'd like to <laughs> donate, we would love to see it. We're serving more people. We are. We have, I get m at least maybe 10 new clients a month mm -hmm. I had been getting, and that's probably going to increase. Our clothes closet, it's winter. We're really looking for some gently used winter clothes, mm -hmm. especially coats for kids. We're very yeah. short on coats for kids or hats. So if you have anything like that, you're going through and your child's going to get a new coat and the other one is kind of nice, gently mm -hmm. used, please donate it. Right. And we do have the Baby Warm and Well Center that yeah. we service any baby with diapers and formula every week, mm -hmm. you know, as long as they need it. So we're in really big need of diapers right now, sizes three, four, five, and six. All those sizes. Yes. Okay. Normally we have enough threes and fours, but right now we're low mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. Fives and six, we always need. Always need. And formula. We're low on formula right now. Mm -hmm. And I know if any of you have got Kids, grandkids, yes. you know formula is extremely expensive and the diapers are expensive. Mm -hmm. So we have many families that have young babies or are going to have yeah. babies and this is a big need and they can do this once a week. They can come in and get free diapers and formula and baby yeah. food or any other baby, you know, lotions or things like that that we have, mm -hmm. which is, you know, a blessing. Yes. And they can shop once a week free. If they're a client, mm -hmm. they do not have to pay to shop down in our clothes store, which mm -hmm. makes it very nice for mm -hmm. them also. So it's, as you can see, we're moving into an exciting, busy time. We are. And it's, um, you know, and it's good to be able to have the things we have to service our public that we, right. you know, that walks through our door. It's, Thank you, Maura, for covering all of that because it's a lot to cover in a mm, half an hour <laughs> and we'd like to thank every single one yeah. of the people and organizations and civic groups that donate to us throughout the year and right. especially at this time of the year. And um, just remind everybody, if you don't know where your heating uh, gauge <laughs> is on your furnace or whatever, find out where that yeah. is And um, because we're here to serve um, all mm -hmm. of the community. and. Um, that's why we open our doors 8 30 mm -hmm. monday through friday we're here to be of service and we thank all of our donors who make it possible and all of yes. our volunteers who come to work um throughout the week and make it possible for for our small paid staff to do <laughs> their job and um and they do it well and so thank you very much for tuning into the neighborhood center and we'll see you next week <laughs>